What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Trainer Zabza, and as you can might be able to tell already, this is not live. Um, this is another shit on Survivor, and I did just get a hunt tail, but I actually have this. This footage is from like a week ago, and I've just been, I have just been completely despondent. I think that's the word about uploading it because it was just, it was such a pain. Or it's such a pain because I lost my audio. Not like game audio or something, that wouldn't matter, but I lost the audio, I lost my audio, I lost that, so it's almost, almost pointless to try and uh, post it, because there's nothing I could do about it, I mean, it's all gone, uh, so I figure I could either re-record it, or I could try and um, record over it, so I decided to do the latter. And I'm just, you know, I'm winging it. I really have no strategy here. I mean, I've got it playing at 2x speed. Um, the past couple turns, he went for Fire Punch. Swadloo manages to take it, get up the Sticky Web, and then I bring in Layla Puppy for the Flash Fire. And just to point out here, um, I still have Solar Beam. I did not realize this until much later. Like, until, like, the last match of this of uh, this session. And I, it was, it, by that time it was too late. I already went through the whole time with Solar Beam. And I just could, it, it, there was nothing I could do. Um, I didn't, I didn't like go and rewatch the footage uh, and I never like save my recordings or save my battles on Showdown. So this is actually gonna be a lot harder to try and remember without going back and watching it. But it's, I couldn't post, I can't post narrate these battles cause I don't have the replays. And I just, I was so annoyed that it happened that I just couldn't post it for a week. Anyway, just what's happening now is um, my what's coming, my um, hunt tail, as you guys, as I'm trying to call it, um, it's going in. It gets the baton pass off, to, baton pass off to Flachinder, and it's starting to put in work against Dawnfan. And I was really, really confident about. Um, my Fletchinder. I actually make a really good play here. I see he's going for the Ice Shards, and I know I can live one and get up a sub, so I decide to go get a sub up after he Ice Shards, and then I can Acrobatics and kill it. And I was so afraid that that was Focus Dash Fletchinder, but I guess it wasn't, and I actually managed to beat, beat him. I mean, against the rest of his team, my Acrobatics can actually do a really good amount of work. And um, I can actually still save it for later, considering I still have a Rapid Spinner. And Jirachis are like they never have special attacks like they never have them so I have a chance to uh, I have a chance with my Hitmonchan to get stuff done and uh, get off rapid spin and such um, I put Destiny Bond instead of Sunny Day on uh, Lilo and I just pretty much got rid of Sunny Day on Swadloon because uh, uh, sorry because with Huntail around I now have a water type that if I, for some reason, need to go for a water type move, I don't want Sunny Day hindering that. And to my surprise, it was actually really funny. Huntail gets, um, Huntail has access to, uh, to, uh, Sucker Punch, which I thought was really cool. And by the way, I make some great plays with I Don't Like Jumping here, taking the hit with Hydreigon, and then going in and Rapid Spinning and getting a Mock Punch for the kill. So that was really cool. Um, I, I, against Alakazam, I thought it could be his Mega, but then I saw Mega B drill, but, well, I thought, I, like, a, for a fraction of a second, I thought it was his Mega, even though he has a B drill on his team, which is probably Mega B drill, but as long as Hitmonchan broke the Sash with Mock Punch, uh, I knew Fletchinder could just finish up, and, um, what I absolutely love about this Huntail, Sucker Punch, uh, Waterfall Sucker Punch for priority, it's just, <laughs> it's good, it's so good. And even if he, I knew that as long as I can get, as long as I still have my Fletchinder, I've pretty much got this battle in the bag. And, uh, cause his team was actually pretty damn weak to it besides, um, like Jirachi and Donphan, those two were stopping it. Donphan managed to get taken out really early on, and Jirachi I managed to whittle down enough to where Fletchinder could just take care of the rest. But really, what made the, what made it work was the baton pass from Huntail. I, I can't explain how ecstatic I was during the when uh, the randomized thing came up Huntail I can't explain how ecstatic I was 
that I got it because now it means that I've got some sweeping potential and I've got some Pokemons that can actually do things and it was just it was awesome it's like I can do things but I, like I said I've been procrastinating this for like a week now because I was just so so depressed every time I tried to come back here and edit it and record it I would just think yeah I lost the footage lost the footage and I just could not record it and for the life of me it was just so bad so so bad um you may be wondering what just happened I did not think uh, Nido King would get um well uh, would get uh, uh, stealth rock and flame fire blast but let me just explain here uh, I, I kind of want to pause but I don't know where I'll pause in the recording um, I went for a rapid spin there seeing how much damage it did and then I knew that um, that mock punch would actually be able to KO it because uh, rapid spins power is uh, 20 and it did like 10% or not 10% it did like 8% and um, mock punch he had like 10% left or like 15 12 percent yeah 12 percent left that's right and uh just i knew that mock punch since it was 30 it's like 1.5 to 20 it did eight so there was a chance it could knock it out and it did and he did not get rocks that was so awesome and he brings in the entei now and i of course the sacred fire is going to knock me out but uh i actually avoided the first one which was cool so i got off to i broke any potential sash but now um i'm really considering if i should just shell smash or not or if i should just go for waterfall and considering it has e-speed, I figure, screw it, I'll just shell smash baton pass out. Because I was pretty confident that I could take uh, a couple hits here, because this, um, the Huntail set I'm, try I'm trying to use is uh, Jolly Max Speed Max HP, because I want, I, um, I, I want to be able to uh, have the most amount of bulk possible, because it's not a, uh, it it's not a, uh, it's not a sweeper itself, but I need it to be fast when it gets the shell smash, and I need it to um, I need it to have some bulk, even though it gets like the white herb takes care of the minus bulk, but you see what I mean here. And thanks to Scra I know scrap thanks to Sticky Web, I'm gonna tell you right now that Sticky Web saved my ass later in the battle because my Scraggy it, or Saggy is gonna be able to get off some nice nice damage with the plus twos. Um, it's not offensive, so I'm not able to take it out, but or take out this Entei, but I'm I'm happy with the damage. I really am. And seeing that uh, that Entei is just going for Easy, trying to knock me out. I figure I can actually go for bulk ups, which actually works really well against the Snorlax. And this must be physically defensive Snorlax or something, because I actually managed to I, I can't kill it with the drain. I didn't kill it with like a plus or a two a plus three drain punch, and that was just really weird. But either way, I do manage to take care of it. Um. Alakazam, I was really afraid of because I was almost positive it could outspeed me, but... And, like, the whole time I was thinking, oh, it's gonna outspeed, it's gonna outspeed. Because I saw that my speed doubled is still not enough to outspeed it, but I completely forgot about the, uh, sticky web. And I'm like, uh, and, and I, like, and during the battle, I was like, um, when I outspeed, I'm like, oh, he's modest, that's why I outsped. No, it was the sticky web. Ah, sorry, my nose is a little stuffy. But no, it was the, uh, yeah, but no, it was the sticky web. And... I <laughs> I should have known, like, even Modest, I'm sure that Alexam would be able to outspeed a non- or a bare minimum speed invested Scraggy. But it it worked out for the best. It did. Because I'm able to get off this sweep with Scraggy, um, predicting the protects nice, going for the bulk ups, and just Scraggy, Huntail, Fletchinder, um, I think even Houndoom's putting in some good work. Uh, but I, I'm afraid that, like, I know Swadloon's not doing a lot of work right now, but he's getting a lot of team support with Sticky Web, so I'm pretty happy about that. And, <laughs> man, Entei lives with 1%, but at this point, I knew I had the game. <sighs> and you know what? These were really good battles. It was such a shame that I lost my audio for these battles because I was, I was just, I, I was had so much fun during the recording, and it, I think that's what gave, I think that's what depressed me so much. The fact that I had so much fun in the recording, and it was just all, it all amounted to nothing. Because I still have my footage, and I can still record over it, so that's something. I can still show you guys this footage. But, it's, ah, if any of you have tried recording before and lost your audio, you know exactly what I'm going through. And it was just so infuriating. Oh my god. 
I, I was I was furious at the time because I I was because <sighs> I wanted to get the I want to get these up like every Monday and Friday at Monday and Friday Monday and Friday and I was going in to edit it and for some reason it just didn't record my audio I don't know what it was it just ah. Anyway, um, it's at this point I realize I don't have Sunny Day, and <laughs> I still have Solar Beam. So I was really contemplating whether to go for um, how I was going to kill this Milotic, because this Milotic was a huge, huge threat to my team at the moment. So I I just keep going for Destiny Bonds. Uh, like I go for Destiny Bonds, Dark Pulses. I actually managed to flinch, but from what I saw, he was just recovering. And I finally managed to take it down, which is... Now that it's gone, it actually gives my Fletchinder a chance to sweep, because physically defensive Milotic is unbelievably bulky. I mean, Umbreon is pretty damn bulky in itself, even when it's physically defensive, but Milotic is just a wall. It's like a, it's just there, it's a wall, it kills. This, this is why I put max HP, like right in the video here, this is why I put max HP on my Huntail, because I had, or because um, I wanted to be able to take hits like a Psychic from Omega Alakazam, and that was, that was like the highlight of my day, that was so good. And Rose Raid being in here, I knew that I could just go for a substitute, and I actually changed the amount of HP on my Fletchinder, so that way I can make like, uh, even number subs, like, like, uh, sure, rocks are a problem, but that just means I'll get my Citrus Berry, and, um, that was actually an issue for a long time. But I'm able to set up to like plus four with Sword Stance, and I just it there's no it's it that that that's it this game is over just Fletchinder sweeps through the rest of his team, and I got a pretty props to Houndoom who actually made the sweep possible possible. So the reason I didn't record uh, three more battles is because there's no way in hell I could have record I could have lost the footage on these I could not record over them because this showed like the best of all my team. And I hope you guys can understand that, and I hope you guys can make the right choices when it comes to voting. I don't know who to vote for. It's a really tough choice. But please don't get the takeaway Huntail from me, please. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.